This is a video for my final project for James at Windsor High School for 5B Physics. In this video, I will be demonstrating momentum and collision. One of the ways I'll be showing you how momentum and collision will be demonstrated is by playing a game of pool. What has happened here is that energy was transferred through the first ball all the way down to these, the rest of these balls that were spread out, triggering the ball to lead up to all the rest of them. My stick for my energy was transferred from my energy to the stick, the stick to the white ball, and the white ball to the rest of these. When the collision occurred, it was all the balls were distributed unevenly because of the amount of energy that I was given into the ball. So shown here is the ball spread out unevenly across the entire pool table due to the amount of energy that I was given to the ball. Now, let's go take a seat and talk about this a little bit more. Alrighty, let's get started. The conservation of momentum is one of the most fundamental laws of physics that should be understood and understand when talking about physics. So who did make the decision of discovering momentum and collision? Well, that was actually Isaac Newton. This is where the laws of Newton or Newton's laws come from. The first law being an object at rest remains at rest and an object in motion stays in motion. The third and final law is whenever an object exerts force on another object, the second object exerts the equal and opposite on the first. What other examples are there of collision and momentum? Well, whenever you hear collision, you really think about a car crash. That's where the word came from. Collision is mainly known from car accidents and it's best represented if one to show an example of something colliding. Another statement to make is if two objects push away from each other, the individual momentum changed by an equal amount through the, in an opposite directions resulting in a zero net change in momentum of, of the system. Conservation of momentum fours, forms the basis of understanding rocketry, jet propulsion, and recoil motion, such as guns and cannons. But when it comes to collision, there are two basic categories, elastic and inelastic. Momentum is conserved both types of collisions, Elastic energy is, however, conserved only elastic collisions. Kinetic energy isn't really lost during inelastic collisions. It's, convert, it's converted into many forms of energy, such as thermal energy or even sound waves. And in a perfect inelastic collision, the colliding objects stick together and move as a single body. So how do you solve a momentum problem? Well, there's an equation for that. P equals mv. P stands for momentum, the M stands for mass, and the V stands for velocity. So what did we really learn today? Well, today we learned that momentum is a vector of quantity, which is another product of mass and velocity. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you out with whatever you needed help with. Um, yeah, bye. P equals MV. The P stands for mo I forgot. The third and final law is whenever one object exerts force and the other object